Hello everyone, this is Chrisom, and I'd like to invite you to another conversation about your Kundalini Awakening experience. In this conversation, I would like to discuss customization. Within the safeties, the practice of the safeties, as you practice the safeties and as you begin to discern Kundalini movement within you, or if you already have that awakened within you, we need to understand that nobody is the same. We all come with different karma. And with that in mind, we need to understand that we need to customize our approach to the Shakti Kundalini within us in a way that allows for flexibility and allows for spiritual evolution to be given. This is not a, a, a practice that teaches absolutism. You must be able to be flexible. You must be able to evolve. Uh, so within that format, I want you to understand that, that as you listen to the divine within, it will give you practices that may run counter to the information that you've received up to this point in the, in the many various paths that you have uh, explored as you come into this. For instance, uh, it may not allow you to partake of a Vipassana approach. A vipassana is very specific in what you do, uh, what you're allowed to recognize, what you're not allowed to recognize, things of that nature. And yet it is a wonderful, wonderful tool for those who are, who are not Kundalini awakened, for those who are, who are beginning to walk the Kundalini path, it may not be the best approach. Okay? If you take things in a literal way, which a lot of people do, uh, you inculcate a certain level of, of inflexibility. And with Kundalini, you need to be very flexible and very able to discern what it is telling you and how. And Kundalini speaks within the language of symbol. And as you hear these symbols or experience these symbols through the various phenomena that Kundalini gives, well, you need to be flexible enough to change the way you approach uh, your personal equation. Uh, Buddha, Gautama, he made all kinds of meditations and, and prayers, and he would, he would individuate a certain practice for a certain individual as he was able to see the, uh, the special requirements that their personal equation required for them to practice. And I am also giving this to you. You need to be able to discern flexibly what changes you need to make in your practice. You may not be able to meditate for 30 days, you know, 20 minutes a day. You may not be able to meditate at all. You may not be allowed to pray either. Once Kundalini's flowing, well, hello, Kundalini's in charge. And you don't get to make the call anymore. Uh, and if you do, you know, she may correct you through the various ways that she corrects people with pain or with, with uh, a vision or, or a communication. And I'm encouraging you to, to be flexible enough to discern, to be open enough to discern what it is that you're being given. And based upon that discernment, to flexibly respond in a way that supports the kundalini within you. Thanks for watching.